Hi, this is Vicki with Connie Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to use the transparency tool within Corel Draw um, for doing a fade in an image. Um, you, this would work for all Corel Draw versions. I'm going to be using X4. This would work in X5, and some of the early, earlier versions also uh, with Corel Draw. Uh, so I've got an object on the page, and I'm going to try to keep it really simple because the main idea is to show you how to use the uh, transparency tool and your from your tools over to the left uh, we're going to choose this uh, wine glass looking uh, icon and if it's not there if you don't see it then just uh, say for instance if you have the blend tool here which is by default what comes up then just put your uh, mouse over the blend tool hold down your left click on your mouse and come down to the transparency and let go. So now you have um, the interactive transparency tool ready to go. So we'll click here and we're just going to click outside and just kind of draw, hold down my left mouse button and just kind of uh, drag to where I want to go. The longer the um, distance or the further the distance um, usually more illusion you have within the object so uh, if I click here and drag this down you can see what I'm talking about if I bring this closer if I pull it further away so based on how the scale is how wide the scale is would determine uh, what you can do so there's all kinds of neat things you can do with this transparency tool so if you want to create a fade in an image, then uh, what you do is create this scale using your wine glass transparency tool over here. This white block means lighter, this means darker, and this is your level. So you can slide this level and you can see what happens as I'm sliding it down the scale. So if I go to the right toward the darker block, the object becomes darker. If I slide it uh, more toward the white block, the object becomes lighter. So um, also you can slide the, the spectrum here where the light block is, the distance between the two blocks will also uh, help tweak or define how much transparency you have. So again, um, once you're done you just click off of it and it grabs the object. If you want to go back to it, you click it again and so you can pull it back up. It's just that simple. Say for instance you you decide after you've done some more detail work within your uh, your your image that you're creating, you want to go back, maybe tweak it a little more, make you know make a few changes. You can always easily come back to it just by clicking on it again and it brings the scale back up. So again, this is how you use the transparency tool within Corel Draw. My name is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. Thank you for your time.